not the only way. In fact, it is not the best way, although you may need to do what you have to do depending on how bad the cancer is. Now, as far as stomach cancer goes, liquefying your foods is very help, can be very helpful. Making sure you're eating less food, obviously. He probably doesn't feel like eating, but he has to, if he's doing vegetable juices and bone soup and such, that can get him some nutrition, the Beyond Tangy Tangerine as well. Uh, chelation therapy can also help, and also probiotics and good bacteria. Probiotics and good bacteria do a couple things for, cancer, for stomach cancer. First of all, they'll help his digestive system, obviously. Uh, and then probiotics and good bacteria can help purify toxicity. Probiotics have a chelating effect. They can purify heavy metals and toxins out of the body. This, uh, chelation therapy, by the way, is something else you might want to consider. And probiotics do something else very interesting in the case of stomach cancer. There's a bacteria called H. pylori. I don't know if you ever heard of that. Chuck, are you there? I am. Yeah, I have, have never ever heard of it. Okay. H. pylori is a bacteria that's associated with ulcers. In fact, that's why they give you an antibiotic now. And they used to give you an, an antacid if you had a stomach ulcer, but now they give you an antibiotic because it kills H. pylori. H. pylori, and that's H dot P-Y-L-O-R-I, H. pylori, is the name of the bacteria. Uh, a lot of stomach cancer is associated with this H. pylori infection. Rosacea, by the way, is also associated with H. pylori infection. So uh, probiotics can help balance out excessive or the wrong kinds of bacteria, including H. pylori. So that might be something else that he wants to consider. Uh, chelation therapy, as I mentioned, that's where they inject something right in your blood, and that can purify the blood. And then also uh, oxygenation, hyperbaric oxygen. Cancer cannot live in an oxygenated environment, which is, tells you another, uh, which indicates another cause of cancers and malignancies, lack of oxygen. And that could be caused by inflammation, long-term inflammation. It could be caused by respiratory problems, et cetera. So hyperbaric oxygen is another very, or can be another helpful strategy. Look into the Gerson therapy, which is a vegetable juice strategy. There's actually a clinic in Mexico. He has to go to Mexico. The, the Gerson folks had to go to Mexico because you're not allowed to treat cancer here in this country unless you're a doctor using drugs. So in Mexico, they have a, the Gerson clinic. That might be something that he wants to think about. And then also, uh, as I mentioned, IV nutrition, glutathione can be helpful too. In terms of top uh, internal nutrition, vitamin C, selenium, wonderfully anti-cancer, maybe the most anti-cancer of all the minerals. Zinc has also got anti-cancer properties. So does vitamin E, 400 international units of vitamin E as well. Uh, it's probably a ton more things that you could do. Uh, but hyper, in, in addition to hyperbaric oxygen, just practicing relaxation techniques and breathing techniques can be important too. Activating the parasympathetic nervous system is an awesomely important strategy for all health issues, including cancer. And of course, you do that by activating the relaxation response, yoga, meditation, etc. So lots of things you could do. Good luck, Chuck. Uh, I hope that everything works out with your uh, with your father-in-law, your daughter's father-in-law, and then also congratulations on that whole Hashimoto's thing. That's awesome. Hey, thank you. Um, Take, yeah. One last thing. I know you got a lot of callers. I just yes. want to know, have you ever been to Coeur d'Alene, Idaho? I love Idaho, man. No, I don't think I've been. Is that near Yellowstone? Uh, it's not too far from there. Well, it's, uh, Yellowstone is Wyoming, right? Yeah, well, I think I isn't there. I may be wrong, but there or, there may be a link. There may be like a little Idaho portion or just outside Yellowstone. I'm pretty sure there is. Well, we're in... Um, it's awesome country out here. It's beautiful. Ben, I'd love to get you up here sometime. I'm oh, I'd love it. Together. Just summertime, not in the winter, but in the summertime, <laughs> I'd love to do that. Yeah, send me a note, ben at ksco.com. Let's plan it for, for next, uh, next summer. Okay, and then what it, say that last part of the domain name, Ben. Ben, at, ben at ksco.com. And that's K for King, S for Sam, C for Cat, O for Oscar. Ben at ksco.com. Okay, okay, got it. All hey, right, thank you so much. Help, Take man. care, man. God bless. Right, Good luck. Too. Okay. All right. Uh, All right. Let's move on to doo, 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 let's go to Marie in Indiana. What's up, Marie? Well, I have been diagnosed with a prolapsed bladder. Oh no! So, so therefore, you know, later on it, surgery, but other things right now is the estrogen cream that he's prescribed for me. Okay. Well, cream I don't know where he gets. It's three hundred dollars for a small tube, and is uh, there anything natural I can use to get extra extra? The estrogen cream isn't going to touch your drop bladder. It isn't going to di put a dent in your prolapse. It's a silly, dumb thing to say to somebody. To you, unless, unless I'm mistaken. I don't want to go out on a limb here. Maybe you're misunderstood. But anybody who tells you to use estrogen cream for a prolapsed bladder, if that's the well, case. Well, that's for the comfort of it because it has prolapsed out a little bit. 
All right, a prolapse is, let me, do you know what a prolapse is, Marie? Yeah, because my bladder is hanging out of my vagina right now. <laughs> okay, all right. <laughs> okay. Well, thank you for that graphic, well, graphic sorry, description. I mean, I had to get no, I'm just kidding it. you. I'm teasing you. Here's I know, the deal. I am too. Here's the deal, Marie. <laughs> so here's what you got to do, okay? For, for a prolapse uterus or pro prolapse bladder, or, you know, anything can prolapse, really, because the body is put together like jello, like fruit in a jello mold, okay? You've, you've ever made jello, a uh, jello mold with yeah. fruit inside? All right. Your organs are hanging or, or uh, suspended in, the je in, the, in your body the way fruit is suspended in a jello mold, mm -hmm. all right? So you have apples and oranges and melons, whatever you have in the jello, in the jello, when the, the jello starts to break down, what's going to happen to the apple? What's going to happen to the honeydew or whatever the fruit is? It's going to drop out of the jello. That's a prolapse. Your jello is dissolving, Marie. And now what is jello? Jello is connective tissue. Jello is collagen. That's what jello really is. The real food we call jello is connective tissue. Well, in the, same, in the same way, your connective tissue is breaking down, just like the jello in a jello mold is breaking down and the fruit is falling out. Mm -hmm. So what you gotta do is you gotta build that connective tissue up. And estrogen isn't gonna do that. Estrogen cream is not gonna do that. So uh, uh, what you gotta start doing, and, and this is a process because it takes weeks and months to build up the connective tissue, is you gotta start building the connective tissue up again. That's the only way to do it. Now, you may need surgery at this point. I don't know. It sounds like it's pretty severe, and that may be the case. But for anybody who, who's dealing with a, 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 a prolapsed issue, or a hernia for that matter, same idea, you got to focus on building your body up, building the connective tissue, which makes up, along with the muscle tissue, the connective tissue and muscle tissue make up the bulk of our bodies. 80% of our body is connective tissue and muscle tissue. So building that stuff back up again is how you deal with this. Now, it's going to take a while, Marie, because the stuff takes weeks to months to build up, but you can start. That means get on the glucogel caps, start eating more protein, support your digestive system, use micronutrients that help with the production of connective tissue, most especially vitamin C. You can't make connective tissue without it, and that means the Beyond Tangy Tangerine. So get on the Healthy Start Pack, use your ultimate enzymes, get on the Biolumin Nightly Essence, and by the way, ultimate enzymes on an empty stomach can help with some of the inflammation that's probably going on in there. And then make sure you're eating enough protein, especially cartilage-containing protein, bone soup and bones, and also, by the way, the glucogel caps as well. You're going to need to be building up that connective tissue. Estrogen's not going to help. It does sound like you have a severe problem, though, Marie, and that may be, and that's the time when you need to have some, something mechanically done, like a surgical procedure. But the key to dealing with prolapses and hernias is to prevent them from occurring. Thanks for your call, Marie. Uh, and that's all the time we have for today. I'm so sorry, guys. And I'm sorry if I left you on hold. Please call back tomorrow. I, I didn't want to do that. I tried to get to all our calls. It just doesn't happen sometimes. So uh, call back tomorrow. Tell our call screener we left you on hold, and we'll get you first up. All right, check out my website, brightsideben.com, if you want to purchase any of the longevity products or join the Brightside Ben team. Also, pharmacistben.com and criticalhealthnews.com. And if you're interested in purchasing any of my Truth Treatment products, including our Retinol 5% gel, go to truthtreatments.com. Tomorrow, we'll continue talking about fats and hormone health on the Bright Side. Thanks for listening, friends. Have a wonderful, awesome, beautiful day.